guys, this is Gabby here from Aaliyah Blake and today we are going to do the power drape. So um, if you don't know already, I'm actually wearing a shirt that is my power color, but we're gonna walk through step-by-step step kind of how to do it together and um, see if you're in the same space or a drastically different one from I am. So um, I'm still gonna go through the process per usual, right? You're going to start by having your DIY drape paper, which is your instructions, and you've got some room on the back to write your information down. Um, since you probably have not swatched your arms already, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have Q-tips to do that, um, and make sure you get your colors laid out in the order that they come in your handy little packet right here. So, now, assuming you have your colors laid out and you've swatched yourself up, what we're gonna do is just test each space and hold a packet up to our hands and see what color looks best with each of these lovely colors. Okay, so for starters, we've got Humble over here and taking a look at him, he's just way more purple um, on my arm than he is in the packaging with probably a little bit of pink in there too. So we're gonna say pretty definitively, like he's probably not my space, but we need to just keep it in mind just to kind of see. Next space over, we've got Skippy. And just keep in mind too, I'm not doing this in the exact order of the packets. I'm doing them lightest of each and battling them against each other, mediums of each battling them and so on and so forth. So we've got Skippy right here. And again, in the container, he's not too terribly far off, but he's way more gray looking in the, in the container. And then on my arm, he does show through with a lot of pink still to him. So we're going to say, in spite of the fact that it's difficult to test my lighter ones because it's not my happiest space, he might not be my friend, but we'll see. Um, enthralling looks way different on my arm than he does in the, in the container. So we're going to note that. And throughout this process, as you're doing it, you can write on either your eye drape card or your DIY drape card on the back where the instructions are. And then last but not least in the light category, we have Capable. And of the four, he's by far the closest match to me. Um, but we're still gonna test those spaces um, and do a little test with a brush and some water. So, um, and I've already prepared this for you guys, but you can just take a little brush or a Q-tip and dab the colors in some water um, and put them on a little white sheet of paper. So what we're looking for is do the colors show up on this paper as true as they do on my arm and vice versa, right? And very clearly, um, I don't know how much you can tell in the video, but um, this last one, Capable, definitely shows through with essentially the same color. Whereas this guy, again, much more gray on the paper, whereas on my arm, he's showing up with a good bit of purple. So we're gonna keep in mind that in the lightest category, this guy, Capable, is my winner. Um, then we're gonna switch over to the next section. And I'm gonna smear this out a little bit more. Um, and we're gonna see how smart looks. And he's not too terribly far off from what's on my arm. Maybe I need to rub that down a little bit more. But if you'll notice, this color doesn't really do much for my skin. It kind of, it doesn't enhance the skin around the color, right? When you smear it out this way, um, it just kind of looks jaundiced and a little bit like someone bruised me. So we're, we don't really want that in terms of a color. And that's the second thing you're looking for in the color is not just how true it is, but how it looks on your skin. Yes, and that was Aaliyah, my lovely, lovely camera lady today. Um, next we have Keen. And Keen on my arm shows up just way more deeply to, than he does in this packet. In the packet, he's just this really pretty soft color. And on me, even as I smudge him out more, um, he just doesn't do anything for my skin, right? He sinks in, but it just kind of looks sallow and sickly and um, just shows through with a little bit more pink than you get in the packaging. So when you're really looking at it, um, you can just kind of see that, A, my skin showing through underneath it doesn't look that pretty. Um, not that the color isn't pretty, just not on me. But also, he doesn't reflect that he's true to the color in the packaging. So if those two things are both true, you can usually pretty much rule it out as your ideal color. 
Next, we're gonna go to Skeptical. And Skeptical in the packaging, so much more pink. He's actually a gorgeous blush color on a lot of people. On me, not quite as gorgeous. Um, and he's not bad on me, but you know, we're just gonna keep that in mind. He looks more orange. Yeah, he does look a little bit more orange on me than, you know, that nice fresh blush color that you want from, you know, your blush. <laughs> um, perfectionist, on the other hand, when I hold him up next to me, he's a little bit different ever so slightly. Um, he's also very metallic -y, so it's sometimes hard to tell in the packaging. But perfectionist by far is the closest to my skin and also just, really kind of enhances the skin around it. It's, I know, difficult to tell with all of these swatches on there, but in terms of Perfectionist as a color on his own, if we pull him out, I don't look sickly. It's the skin underneath the color still looks very fresh. Um, and he makes a really lovely eyeshadow. And I know that because I've already cheated and I know he's my color space. But if you are looking for what to look for, you want something that blends into the skin. As you notice, this one stands out the most. And then as we go, down this one absolutely sinks into my skin and just looks the freshest and of course that's what you want from your color unless you're phoning in sick from work um, next we've got our um, a little bit deeper spaces not the deepest but timid um looks yeah he looks okay um he looks similar on my arm and i probably need to smudge him out a little bit more but you do get a lot more brown on my arm where you, you get like this nice rich kind of clay color in the packaging. And that just doesn't really reflect on my arm. And when I smear them out, again, you get that similar kind of bruisey look right here, right? Just kind of like we did with Smart over this way. And that's just not what we want in a color. Um, and it's not what I want for my arm either. So next we're gonna go over to Vivacious and again, not terribly far off, but on my arm, he does um, pull kind of more, yellow I would say yellow than in the packaging. And in the packaging, he definitely is just a richer, bolder color that just doesn't translate well when you put it on my skin, right? Um, so we're gonna smooth them out just to be sure. And again, just like this one, this one also begins to look a little bruisey. Um, whereas again, these two in comparison to this guy, Still looks really nice even when I smudge him out. All right, so now we're gonna go over to Independent. And by far, again, that one's definitely the closest to how one? he looks on my arm. Oh, did I skip, Re I might have skipped Revolutionary. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, a little eager. And Revolutionary is a really pretty color, and I don't hate him on me at all, actually. Um, in the packaging, he tends to have a little bit more purple to him, I would say, ever so slightly, but he is pretty close to the color um, in the container. So that's always good to keep in mind that in the deeper values, there might be another one that I can wear, right? I might have two spaces. Um, so we're gonna smear them out again, just like the others. And take a look again. He looks pretty yellowy too. And on my arm, he, you know, as you smear him out, doesn't quite look as pretty as he does when he's applied a little bit heavier. He's okay. Um, and we're going to keep him in mind and keep that in mind. And then last but not least, the one that I was eager to get to for these medium deep ranges, Independent, um, who is definitely the closest <laughs> to the color. Even when you smear him out, we make sure I do it with a finger that doesn't already have other colors on him. Um, I'm not getting that jaundice -y look that I'm getting with these colors over here, right? You're not seeing that yellow pull through. You're getting just a lighter version of that true color. And that's definitely what we want um, when we're looking for colors that we're gonna put on our face or anywhere else. Um, now we're gonna go into the super deeps and this is a weird one he looks drastically different on me than he does in the container um and you don't get any of the richness of the color that you get from the packaging and also just the color when he's applied to someone um frankly he looks terrible on my skin <laughs> like just he's really bad um and this is coming from someone who can wear a lot of deep colors but he's bad so we're firing him right next we're going to go over to poetic and in the packaging, again, he's this really rich color that just kind of falls flat the second you put it on my skin. Um, and with these deep colors, if you are someone who's deep, that's something that you can notice, right? The color might not look 
terrible, like the way something super vibrant would, but you can still tell because that color is falling flat on your skin. He's just not doing anything for me. He's not doing anything for the skin around me. They'll also often look kind of gray. Yeah. Like. And these two definitely look more gray, these two warmer colors. Um, then as we move into the cooler colors with dynamic, he's not terribly far off, but he's got much more redness and richness to him in this container. And that's just kind of lost when you put him on my skin. Um, you're not getting that depth. You're not getting that kind of rich clay undertone to the color. You're just getting kind of a flat brown on my arm. And that's not what we want either. Um, last but not least, we have predictable. And of the four, he, again, just like with all the others, is pretty straightforwardly the truest. But also, when you put him on my arm, you just get a lot of clarity underneath that brown. And in terms of this, like, brown-red versus the other three, um, you're just getting that richness of color that you don't get with the others. These three are just more flat than this guy is on me. And... For some of you, that may be true, and for others, it may be the complete opposite, and one of these guys is richer. But really, it's about looking at, you know, what does it do for the skin around the space, especially when you get into those more tricky hues. Here, roll your arm a little so we can see all. Gabrielle is a great example, too, of someone who's, like, very firmly in her color space. Um, and you can kind of tell just by looking at them, like, maybe she can go a little bit towards the P14s, but... They turn so much warmer on her. So it's kind of like she is in her space. That isn't always the case. Sometimes you'll have some like point to a P14 and P31, Gabby. So here Especially is... Especially in the deeper range. Here's a P14 and here's a P31, right? Revolutionary and Independent, the one that I almost skipped over. And this one I would say of all of the P14s is the closest to something that would be a match. Um, but really, this is just, even the P14s are just too warm for me, right? Um, but if that's the case for you, it doesn't mean that they're just these four colors. I'm actually wearing entirely P31s, which is my space on me. Um, but I can also play in the P11s. So when you're doing this test, definitely don't be discouraged if you're firmly in one category, because there's so many colors that I can wear. Um, and there are those little in-between cheat spaces, like P11, which are cooler than these P14s and a little bit warmer than these guys, which are my main space. Oh, that's really close to my face now. So um, basically, um, just want you guys to see, so from this arm to my face, none of these colors, a lot of them, you know, a lot of people say, well, this is a red, but this would be a purple. These are all spaces of red. And on my face, actually, makeup wise, I don't know how much you guys can tell, um, but on my eyes, I've got a wide variety of power colors, none of which are actually this packaging here. Um, and then my shirt as well is a power color. So um, there's lots of gorgeous blushes, individualist, um, confident. There's a lot of them in that space that are just really beautiful, rich colors that are great for lips, eyes, even my blush, um, and just making everything very cohesive with your look. So. And if you discover that you have two that you aren't so sure about, don't panic because sometimes people, it's, n it's nice to know which direction you can move in. So for her, she can just move a little closer to the warmer side. That's why she said P11. But say um, that say this guy yeah. was your space, right? This P, what is it? P twenty eight. Twenty eight is your space. There's such a huge variety between P twenty eight and P forty three. The space on the ends, and there's so many colors that you can play around with, um, and also a lot of in betweens between these two spaces. So there's a lot of wiggle room, even if it doesn't look like it from the test. We just want to keep things simple enough for the tests that they're not overwhelming for you guys. Um, but then, you know, you can break down these categories so much further once you get um, a little bit more comfortable with these colors. And again, tons of swatches to play with too, so. So just let us know which direction you can move in. Yeah, definitely. So, um, you know, now that you've swatched yourself up and you have your results, um, if you know what you are, then awesome. If you have questions, let us know. I, for example, am a P31, so for my swatches, um, I get lots of fun options. And swatches, if you haven't done any of these rates before, are great. They have 
a tiny little hole in them. That way when you're shopping for clothing, when you're looking at nail polish colors, anything else, you can find something that really is true to the color of the swatch that you're getting, um, which is how I know that this shirt is my color and that I like it. Um, there's lots of other options to play with too though, right? And not everything within your color space is gonna be your best one. Um, I tend to do really well with the muted colors and the deeper colors in particular um, are some of my favorites. But there are also a lot of really great options um, and it's one of the few color spaces that I can wear some that are a little bit more vibrant. Show us um, the box we can't see. But I still want to go on the deeper side even if I'm going with a little bit bolder of a color just because for me personally I am a deep. So something as dark as this can be a power, right? And a lot of people don't think like that of that as a red. But these colors are great for pants. They're great for patterns, nail colors, everything in between. So once you know your color space, we would love to pick some swatches for you. And when we do, you're gonna get this lovely little booklet right here. And um, it's got a lot of information. It's got the actual color wheel on it, right? So you can um, decide which colors to pair together. Um, and lots of good information about how to pair colors. It's a question we get all the time, right? How do you know which colors go well together, which ones don't? But really the answer is just make sure they're in your space. If I was wearing something super warm and orange based as a red, doesn't matter what I pair with it, it's not my color and it's not gonna look my best. And we always gonna look our best. So if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have fun.